Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Chrono Trigger. Last time, we arrived in the past Guardia Kingdom, had seen that Marl was mistaken for her ancestor, and history has been changed. Marl no longer exists in the present timeline, and this time, we gotta do something about that, wouldn't you say? Queen's chambers are above. She has granted you permission to pass. And, uh, yeah, she's not exactly here to dispute that claim, now is she? <laughs> Uh, King does not say anything else different. Just wanted to check on that really quick. And now, out we go. Going far, far away from this castle as fast as we can. I'd say we're far away enough, wouldn't you? We have time to dawdle because I want to show you that every time you go into Guardia Forest, the enemy will pop out of that, will pop out of that bush and drop a shelter. Well, I was going to go back up and demonstrate more stuff. Luca! is an inventor using her machines to do heavy damage. You might compare her a little bit to a black mage. Similar to the, oh, no, no, no. Uh, she does not have any starting text. Like the archetype, she not only does heavy damage, but has lots of MP to keep using those moves, but suffers from not having that much HP and being more frail than Chrono. Unlike the archetype, her regular attacks aren't trash. She fights with guns, which uh, come with a strange quirk. Damage is not decided by her weak attack stat, but instead, it is her weapon's attack plus her accuracy. So her regular attack is not as problematic as you'd expect, it just merely works on different rules. By looking at Luca's equipment, you can see that only two strength, but a whopping eight accuracy and eight total attack thanks to her weapon. Comparing that to Chrono's 21, and it's really not that bad. Speaking of not that bad, her magic defense is also pretty good. Certainly better than him. Someone else's. I'm sorry, I like Luca a lot, I really do. There's no need to worry about who to give certain equipment to because Luca can't even equip the bronze armor that we just got for Chrono. She has the sight scope which reveals enemy HP and we could in theory give her the headband but I think I want to demonstrate this a little bit longer because I didn't point it out in the last battle. Upon getting any party member, I recommend getting into all the fights that you see. Generally, their first tech is learned from not that much TP, and we want to get her up to that first tech as soon as possibly can. There you can see an HP bar on the bottom screen. That is how her sight scope is manifested. Goodbye to you. Six TP, and Luca learned Flamethrower. Perfect, right on cue. And we learned the Fire World dual tech. We haven't seen any dual techs yet. I'd be very happy to demonstrate that for us, but for now, I'm just going to grab my shelter and get out. Very helpful grinding right here. Great item, available for free as long as you like. Whoa, uh... You were like blue fiery streaks and then turned into that. Okay, uh, well. Wanted to be Luca's turn. Uh, combo. Flamethrower attacks enemies in a straight line. It doesn't work quite as like Chronos, where it's just enemies in proximity. Different attacks will have different forms that you can use. Uh, I think I'll just regular attack to finish off this blue bird. They look so weird rushing in like that, seriously. <laughs> At first I thought they were glitching or something. I guess I don't remember that sprite, even though I play this game a lot. Maybe I just don't think of the early game enemies that much. That's probably what it is. Less involved fights, so not as much to remember. Well, we don't have anywhere else to really check out. Uh, down here, the bridge is broken. We heard that the Fiend Lord's army laid waste to this place a long time ago. But we can still look at the beautiful sunrise. <laughs> the Fiend Lord's army, oh, pfft. whoa, uh, way to plagiarize me there, buddy. <laughs> you know you play this game too much when. Uh, the, I just wanted to stare at this for a second though, because this was a, a lot of games from this era I think have not aged well visually, but this one certainly does. They had it down pat, had to do pixel art at this point. So much detail, so fantastic, so expressive, and really pretty art style. If you've thought that that opening cutscene or just the enemies and artwork in general look very DBZ, there's a very good reason for that. The character designer was the Akira Toriyama of Dragon Ball fame. And in fact, if Luka looks a little familiar, she is based on a character that Toriyama originally drew for a manga known as Arale Norimaki from Dr. Slump. She's a robotic little girl who, despite her appearance, has superhuman strength. She's pretty much anti-Luka in every way, in the way that she's naive and not very intelligent. It's irony. We pray for the peace of the world. We are ever so devout. Oh, great lord and master, deliver your judgment upon the weak and undeserving. 
that we might reclaim the future for ourselves in your name. Oh, how delicious. I, I mean, delightful looking you are. This is the only other place we can go, and Toma back in the bar said that he thought this place was suspicious. Why not say a prayer for yourselves? <laughs> what did you find? A hairpin? Hey, this is Guardia's royal crest! Well, that was certainly a thing that happened. We got enemies to deal with! I'm gonna use our first dual tech. This takes two TP from Chrono, one from Luca, and it puts Cyclone and uh, Flamethrower together into one attack to fuse them, causing Cyclone to be fire elemented. Some enemies have elemental weaknesses, and wouldn't you know it, good game design. These suffer from a fire weakness, making it a very prime target for your brand new dual tech. With Chrono having higher speed, it's generally better to do a regular attack with him first. Uh, and then just uh, after Lucas' turn comes around once, then using it, you gotta be efficient managing how many turns you're getting. Uh, flamethrower not gonna work there. Maybe I'll just go for the Fire Whirl here following my own advice, just to kind of, well, I already damaged this one, I might as well not. And besides, this enemy is close by, meaning, oh, nope. Luca has her own version of just whacking the enemy with the crossbow like Marl did, so I wanted to show that, but it was just barely too far away, so I didn't get to show it. Uh, you're looking like a pretty prime customer. There you go, just wax it with her hammer off of her tool belt. That's a great way to damage enemies. It's just a new coat of paint for her regular attack. It does not mean that she has two regular attacks or anything. It's just an animation that makes sense for the scenario. Wow, you guys have a lot of HP, actually. Uh, by the way, these are... Nagas. Nagas, capable of inflicting slow, which makes it longer for your turn to come around, encouraging you to use those fire techs to take them out quickly. Without even using that many techs. 320 gold, though. Sheesh. Wow, that's not bad. Phew, wasn't expecting that. I... Lower your guard, and you allow the enemy in. You've come to save the queen. The fiend's lair lies within, it would seem. Will you accompany me? Y you're a... Chrono, it's a giant talking frog! You know I can't stand frogs! I suppose I ought to not expect you to trust me looking as I do. Very well, do as you please. But I must save the queen. But wait! Y you don't seem like a bad frog. I, I, I mean, person. Uh, I mean, a. Uh... What should we do, Chrono? Refuse. It may be risky going alone. What should we do, Chrono? Go with the frog, if we must. I was just going along with what you wanted to do, okay? A silent folk are very easily influenced. Right, I, I guess I'll just have to get over my aversions to slimy or er, moist-skinned creatures. So what's your name? Well, that's uncreative. <laughs> he just merely goes by frog. Frog will suffice. All right. Nice to meet you, Frog. And you as well. This room must conceal a hidden passage. Let us search every corner. Plus one party member. We got a full trio now. And with a full trio, I think it makes sense to hop on over to the marketplace to equip everyone up. And four shelters looking excellent. Frog starts out with excellent equipment. You can see that his attack is pretty comparable to Chrono's and his defense is even better. And I already praised Chrono for having decent defenses as is, but but the Bronze Helm could definitely go on Luca. And the Pea Shooter costs just about everything we have, yet I can't resist optimal strats. Took a rest while I was in town and really quick, the Manolia Cathedral is the first example of this world being based loosely on our own. Its namesake comes from the Manila Cathedral. It's not in your face, but it's there. Now that we're back in said cathedral, I have a story for you. I am not joking. On my first time, it seriously took me hours to figure out what to do here. I was running all over the room trying to find a door, didn't find any, so I went back to the castle to see if Frog would trigger any new sequence of events there. He didn't, so I went to the canyon, I went back to town, talked to everyone. I was at a complete loss. And then...
Now, when they said not being a religious man would come back to bite you someday, I didn't think this is how it would manifest itself. We got a dungeon behind this cathedral, and with a dungeon comes new guys for us to hit and <laughs> be hit by. Ouch! These are swift kicks to the back of the head and swift kicks to the crotch. Um, I don't know why you're hitting Luca there, though, but uh, okay, buddy, you do you. These are Diablos, pretty standard weak physical attackers. We'll do a flamethrower to hit these two guys in a line. Be careful of which enemy you're targeting, as the flame will just travel to that enemy and no one else. Frog is a more skilled type of swordsman, but also somewhat of a magical being. He's got Slurp, which heals you by licking you. Um, sorry for the traumatic experience, Luca, of being licked by a tongue that long when you couldn't see it coming. Man, uh, we are not doing anything for her phobias there. Earn 30 XP, 3 TP. Chrono's level increased. And nothing new for Frog. Get into a next fight, which uh, looks like it's here right now. There's some Athenian water. Good. We could use a revive with how we got a trio going now. Frog is a more skilled type of swordsman, and I really mean it. He has the skills that Chrono does not. His skills manifest with his base chance of critical hits being a whopping 23%. His regular attack's going to be critting very often, a lot more often than Chrono's, and it could be worth it to just use his regular attack because he hits so hard with it. No need to spend TP. No need to spend MP if uh, you don't need to. He's also a decent healer. He's just a nice guy to have. He can attack. He can heal. He can do whatever. Whenever his turn comes around, whichever you need. I consider him the crux of the team as of right now, and the one who brings everything together, and the one that you want to be the most careful with his turns. If we go up this way, got a room with three chests in it, a maiden suit. The type of armor that can be worn is based on gender, so you can see that the bronze equipment is on Chrono and Frog, whereas the padded vest is what Luca has, and she's the only one who can equip the maiden suit. Lucky her. Got good defense all around now. Second, potion. Third, ether. And one of these, I think, possibly, maybe in here. Yes! Obtained hidden Naga bromide. Hey, there are humans in here! Try and steal our bromide, will ya? Get em! Their behavior is a very strong context clue to what a bromide actually is. These are just merely underlings. They are tankier enemies, not taking all that much damage, and they're best hit with magic. Speaking of which, look who I got in my party. Melt that plate armor onto their flesh. Ouch, I'm heartless. Got a lot from that, and what is this Naga Bromide, Naga Bromi Day? I think it's Bromi Day, actually, because it's a Japanese term. Oh. You can look through your items, through your equipment, through your key items. Nothing. This doesn't show up in your inventory at all, and it confused the ever-living daylights out of me the first time I found it. From the name, my guess was that it was a sword. It turns out, it is a pinup usually of the erotic variety in Japan. Nagas are those busty snake enemies that we fought earlier. Now you know why they had, um, very strong opinions about us taking that. Steel Saber, there's the sword that I thought I picked up all that time ago, but <laughs> still managed to think that it was even with getting that. 27 attack now. Here I go, evading battles because I can weave between you and I have free movement. Not always, though, because some of you are confident. Another enemy we got here. Uh, man, before I can even get to it, you just kick Luca in the back of the head every time. You're, like, trying to make her less smart because you feel like you can't stand up to her any other way. I see how it is. Uh, these are Vipers. They're our first time that we've fought an enemy that can inflict statuses if they live to tell the tale. They die very easily to the flamethrower. Um, they inflict poison, which must be cured using a pena... Uh, Panacea, pan panacea, panacea. I always get that wrong. I had people telling me that like, hey, it's not panacea, it's panacea. Status ailments are healed automatically after fights, so don't sweat it too much. I don't really think that um, panaceas, <laughs> there I go having trouble saying it again, are really all that worth it. And hey, hello. Uh, uh, I didn't mean to leave the room. Sorry, I'm a terrible hero. Did you by chance come to save Queen Lean? Oh, you did. That's good to know. Oh, you came to rescue me. How kind of you. But I assure you, there's no need. The master of this place, Yakra, is so very kind. I've decided to stay here. Please make yourselves at home, too. 
Oh, how good of you to come. I'm sure Yakura will be pleased. Please, pass time in here with us until he has a chance to come and greet you properly. Don't be in such a hurry to leave. Please take the time to enjoy yourselves with us. Mwahahaha! Who could have seen that one coming? <laughs> You're about as obvious as your positions tell me which text I need to use. We're gonna finish off the guy on the right there. Kerpow. And with you gone, yep, in perfect position to use the flamethrower on you two. It's like a puzzle you gotta figure out each time. A lot of things just weak to fire all over the place or weak to magic in general. And these two chests contain 100G. And an ether. Oh great Magus, Magus the Great. Your eyes are brighter than the stars. Your flowing hair like waves atop the sea. Even those miserable sunny days abate when we feel your seething hate. Ever bright and halls no fear, just so long as you are near. Guys, stop talking. I'm trying to steal from you. Guardian Bangle raises defense. Well, actually, I wanted to get the silent scope off of her after a while. That could go on Luca. I think headband for her. Uh, sorry, Chrono got kind of sweaty in it before, but, you know, adventuring is hard work. Uh, he has a power glove by default. Uh, maybe I'll hold off. Next up, speed belt. Wow, so much for the headband. Sorry I made you stick that on your forehead, Luca. <laughs> you had to feel Chrono's sweat on your body for nothing. These enemies will not fight you. Even if you press A on them, it's just a hidden room that gives a little bit of lore. Now going this way. Burp. Hmm? What's with the disguise? Hurry up and change. No need to be walking around like humans in here. <laughs> Ugh, almost time for my shift. Hey, pretending to be human. There's a smelly repulsive. It's demeaning. Burp. The ones we ate last time weren't so bad. And those two soldiers we just caught look plump and juicy. <laughs> Yakra's a genius. His plan to imprison the Chancellor and take on his role work like magic. Now the Queen's ours, and the castle's in an uproar. This is rich. This is so funny. I love it when they give the little mooks uh, <laughs> personality. All right, I think I'll pay my respects to the Fiend Lord statue before my shift starts. Nothing else in here. You go outside, and you can follow him this way. He goes in the door, and that is your hint that this place exists. He's not here though, he's just one of these guys who was in here earlier. I, I love that so much whenever they humanize regular enemies like that. Like I said, monsters are people too. Now, we've made it pretty far in. And, uh, looks like we're not gonna make it any farther without a fight. Okay. I was thinking we were gonna have a good stopping point there, but I guess not. Fire Whirl! And why not? If we have the, uh, extra turn, if they don't, if they actually live through this, we'll slurp on Luca again. You avoid his tongue today, Luca, but there's always tomorrow. Luca's level increased, Frog's level increased, and Frog learns Slurp Slash. And we learn the X Strike Dual Tech. Uh, it hurts me so much that we just got a personal favorite tech of mine and I'm at a good stopping point, but uh, if I just said, hey, wait, let me show this one more thing, we'd be here forever. We got Frog, we got to the Man Manolia Cathedral, and we got quite a bit stronger in the process. We know that this is where the queen is being held, and next time on Chrono Trigger, we'll look for her in the next major part of this cathedral. See you guys there.